Well, hello everybody once again. Welcome back to my channel, Save For Real 757. And I am dressed. I'm ready to go. Today is Thursday. I believe it's September the 20th or 19th. Anyway. Mm. Drinking my water. Y'all got to have your water. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to say good morning, to, well, good afternoon, it's 11, oh, it's 11.51, and I am on my way out. Okay, I'm trying to find some pillows, you guys, and uh, yeah, let me show you the curtains, but I want to first say hey to all of my subscribers and to all of my new subbies. I thank you, and I surely do appreciate you, and I'm just giving God the glory, the honor, and the praise of how he's allowing this channel to grow, my God, and I'm thanking God that he's allowing you guys to see him in me, praise God, and so I am so excited, I'm just happy, I'm just I'm just so grateful. That's what I am. I'm just so grateful. Life is good. Life is wonderful. Life is beautiful. And let us keep those that are in Texas that are de that is dealing with the floods down there and the rain and the torrential downpours. Let us keep them in prayer. Let us continue to keep our Bohemian or bo your Bohemian sisters and brothers in our prayer. Um... Who else? Uh, let, just, just, just let us continue to pray one for another. Amen, somebody. But again, I'm, I'm getting ready to go. And I need to go to, I, I'm thinking about, I want to go to Tuesday morning. And then Target. And then Pier 1. Um, let me show you the curtains. Okay. These are the curtains. These are velour. These are some beautiful curtains. When I tell y'all, these are some velour curtains. And um, I really, so I'm looking for some pillows to go in my, I'm going to hang these up. Let me show y'all. I'm going to hang these up in my den. Let me see if I can move y'all without, yeah, hold on, let me see. Okay. Uh, you see those gray curtains? This, those, let me, let me take it closer. Okay. These gray curtains, they're beautiful. However, however, my D, my, 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 my sectional is already gray. Okay. The sectional is already gray. Then I have pink. But I, I just threw those pink pillows there because remember the ottoman that used to be in the hallway in my entryway? Well, not the ottoman, but the bench. But y'all remember these pink pillows? These pink pillows used to be on that bench. You know what? I don't think the tag, you know what? Y'all got to pray for me. I had this thing about three, four years. And still into <laughs> but anyway, so I'm looking for some dark, darker excuse me, darker color pillows to, uh, well, some pillows to go with those curtains. So I'm going to take one of those curtains with me in the store and see, because that's a, that's a cerulean blue, supposed to be a cerulean blue. And cerulean blue comes in uh, variations of shades. Some might be the perfect map. Some might be a tad bit off. Some might be, but it's all considered cerulean blue. So I bought, I purchased me some cerulean blue chargers from Z Gallery uh, last year. I do believe, or a year before that, I think it was last year, but they was on clearance or sale or something. And I thank God because the cerulean blue that I purchased, they all came in the same hue of blue. So I was I was pretty lucky in that. I was pretty blessed, not lucky, in that aspect. Um, again, with I'm, so I'm thinking about going to, you know, I'm having the hardest time with this den. I'm telling you. My living, my former living room, I really like it. My dining room, I like it. But this den, I'm telling you, this den, I, I, I'm, or the family room, well, back in my day, was a den. 
Uh, because the, the house had a formal living room, then you had a room where you can come and lounge at and just throw your feet all over the place and didn't even care, okay? Well, that's what this room is. But I don't want it to be, I'm still not, you know what area I'm only satisfied with? Can I show you? I mean, I'm going to turn the camera this way so y'all can see. Okay. You see that setup right there? This is part of the den. Okay, you see that over there? Uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, y'all don't feel like I can see it. But I made those. I made all three of those. And this is a part of the den that I am okay with. You see what I'm saying? That, well, let me turn this way. That. That's what I'm okay with. I like that. I like that setup. But that's it. I have a whole... Big old football field. I'm just messing with you. But I have a whole huge den that I still have to decide how I'm going to furnish it. And while it's exciting and it's fun for, because you know, ladies, we love to shop. So it's fun to go shopping and, 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 and see the bargains that you can find. It's exciting to go constantly, I mean, to pick out this. and But I may have to, you know, I'm thinking about something. So that's why. But, um, yeah, so it's exciting for all of that. But then it comes a time when, you know what, okay, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. And I've wasted so much money because I have so I have pillows and bags, pillows in my garage, pillows. These pink pillows are going in the garage, but and I gave and my daughter came about a week ago, a week and a half ago, now, and she came and I gave her a whole slew of pillows, and they look so pretty in her house because she sent me a picture. She was so happy to get them, and um, yeah. So I'm like, okay, all these pillows. Yeah, all these pillows. So, anyway. But, I just hope today when I go out. I just hope today that when I go out, I'm able to find something to match those curtains. Then I can find me a rug. And see, everything is silver, silver, silver. No, once I find the pillows, once I hang these curtains up, I'm going to start putting some golds in here, mixing metals. I'm going to start with some with, with some decorative pieces that, you know, to match the curtains and pillows. But right now I can't do, I, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm at a standstill. Um, and it's like, okay, I'm still working on this den. I got, I have my, my, um, my master bedroom, my former living room, my dining room, the upstairs hallway entry, uh, the guest bedroom, 99% done. The office, uh, yeah, we ain't gonna talk about the office right now. But I'm gonna leave that for last because it is what it is. By me having a laptop, I don't have to stay stationary. So I'm okay with the with the office going last. Um, and so I'm just trying to figure out what we want to do. I mean, what I want to do, because my husband don't care. All he do is look for bags when he come home. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So today on our dinner menu, we are having salmon. Um, he enjoyed his dinner yesterday. He had, I get I cooked him some swai fish, some shrimp, uh, a baked yam and some veggies and I cooked enough food for him to take to lunch today so he was okay with that you he's he's not a hard guy to please um so yeah I'm um oh it's a overcast day up here I don't know if we supposed to get rain let me, let me see something Hold on, let me see I don't know oh this, and this is the bag I'm carrying today it don't match but you know what it gonna be all right. Okay, let me see what the weather is um, in the VA area. Because I need to know if I need to take me in my raincoat or umbrella. And uh, let me see. What's the weather for today? Yes. Okay. 
Let me see. It is... Okay, just cloudy, but the sun is supposed to come out between 3 and 5, but no rain. So I'm good about that. See? It's just... I don't know if y'all can see that. But anyway, let me see. Yeah, I don't know, but... So I'm happy about that. So good. Don't have to worry about any rain. It's 12 o'clock. I'm usually already out the house. I'm excited. Life is good. You know why life is good? It ain't so much about this, the material. It ain't so much about the It ain't never going to be about the material. Not for me. I'm excited about life because God is the head of my life and Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Amen, somebody. And so with that being said, I'm, I'm excited about life. The Bible says that God gave us all things to enjoy. Come on, somebody. So, yes, I'm going to live my life to the fullest. I have a beautiful family. I have beautiful children. I have beautiful grandchildren. I have a beautiful husband. I have a beautiful, I have beautiful spiritual children. And then I have you, you too, my beautiful subscribers. And I just give God the glory. And I thank God. I really, really thank God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just giving God the glory. I really, really am. I really am because all these world of possessions ain't going to, listen, all these world of possessions that these peop the people run after, that's not going to get them to heaven. In man's eyes, you might be blessed. But don't you know that even though you may not see the, a child of God's blessing, but we are blessed with all spiritual blessings. Woo! We got wisdom. We got peace. We got joy. We got laughter. We got love. We got faith. We got a praise and a worship. But those that run that run after things in this world, they might have money, but they miserable. Why you think so many celebrities and well-known people, my God and Zion, commit suicide? Not saying that other people don't either, but it's just, you would think, excuse me, you would think, wow, they got it going on. They got it going on, but then you hear about them committing suicide. What I'm trying to say, honey, is this. Well, you know what I mean? I don't mean honey. That's just how I talk. I'm trying to learn, you know. But what I'm simply saying is love you. Put God first in everything. In everything. Every decision before you move out to make a move. I don't care if it's going to school. I don't care if it's getting married. I don't care if it's buying a house, buying a car. I don't even care if it's if you're making a decision to buy clothes, before you make a decision, hear me. Just stay, um, talk to God while you're in the store. Uh, I remember one time I was in the store and I wanted to buy something or something or another. And the Holy Spirit told me no. Now, I didn't know why he said no. But the Bible says that God know our end, end of life at our beginning. In other words, God know what's, how it's going to start. God know what's going to happen in between. And God know how, how it's going to end. So when he told me no, I was like, kind of, you know, sad, you know. My daddy told me no. And uh, I was glad that I listened because it was shortly thereafter. There was, I, I, Lord, I, I think it was an emergency. It was something that I needed that money for. And had I gotten that dress, and had I disobeyed or ignore the voice of the Holy, the voice of the Lord, uh, I'd have been kind of late. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been running back to the store trying to trade the dress. You know, I mean, not trade a uh, return dress. You know, but anyway, I'm sitting here talking to y'all. I can't remember. I had this video that I wanted to upload, and I can't remember if I uploaded the video. And then I went back to look for it, and I can't find it. So I don't even know. I believe I did. I believe I did. I'm going to look. I'm going to look. But 
Yes, so that's where we're going to go. I'm not going to drive and talk. I will probably take out the camera once I get to the store. So I think I'm going to Tuesday morning first because Tuesday morning is literally about five or six minutes from my house. It depends on if I have any lights or not. And then the Target is about... <laughs> About nine or ten minutes from my house depending on the traffic so that's what I'm going to get into today I'm taking that care of. but I just want to let y'all know what my plans were for today what are y'all plans for the day what do you have planned for the day listen don't get in the house get out that house live life live I was talking to my sister <laughs> and while we were eating lunch yesterday and she was saying Tina we are over the half a century yeah. I said, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. These and these bones is talking to us too. Who? You know what? And let me just say this: aging. For y'all that, that may know or may not know, I'm I'm close to sixty, and uh, my husband's over sixty, and um. You know when you young. You see your parents aging, and you and and they be like, ooh, ooh, and they be going slow up the steps, and they moving a little slower, and you, and you're like, w w but when you come on, not not that I did that, no, no, I'm just saying, I'm thinking about it, thinking about how you don't realize what you're doing until you get in the space where they are, where we where, where they were, and so I think about it now. I think I thank God for my children. And let me tell you what I'm saying. My children, they love their mama. And I'm not being what I'm saying is they check on their mama. You know, you know how that you know how good that make me feel. Uh for the longest time while we were doing a house, looking for a house. I didn't want a house with stairs. My husband or I, I just, I wanted a ranch. And I was not, that's what took us so long to get a house. I was not flexible in that area. And I was not going to change my mind. And I didn't care what y'all said. I just did not want a house with stairs. I'm sorry. I just didn't. So anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. End up with a house with stairs. Um, thought I didn't want a house with stairs, but you know what? God is, again, God, his wisdom is so infinite. His, his wisdom is infinite wisdom. I thank God for those stairs because they keep my husband and I going up and down them stairs, up and down, up and down, up and down. We don't, uh, we, it's motion. It's constant motion. That's, it's not enough motion, but at least it's something up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And I deliberately go up and down them steps a lot. I deliberately, sometimes my knees be popping. <laughs> oh, I'm telling y'all my business, right? But sometimes my knees be popping. And yes, and sometimes it do feel a little, you know, it's a little stiff here and there. But, you know, don't just sit in that chair, Tina. Get out this house. Get up. Walk around, do something. And then I be seeing all these YouTubers and, and, and they're cleaning their house. And I, and I remember, I mean, I have always been a person that loved to clean a house. Always been that way. But as I'm getting older, y'all, um, I still love to clean. Don't get me wrong. But it's hard for me to get down in my bathtub and clean that bathtub. It's hard. It's really, really hard. In the master bedroom, we have a garden tub, so it has that that casing around it, and to lean over that and to get and the tub is real deep. So I'm gonna have to hire somebody to. If they, all I want them to do is keep all my bathrooms clean. If you could just keep my bathrooms clean, and I'll probably have them, and I'll just. And I'll just do the spot cleaning until they come back again. If you can just keep my... 
And it's not even the bathroom, it's the bathtubs. I can't do the bathtubs. And so if somebody could get in there and, and clean the shower and the tub area for me real, real good, because it's all that bending over. I can do this part. I just can't bend over like that. It's too, ooh. And then I got a knee, like I said, my knee. My, I had surgery on that knee a long time ago, and it's still. And uh, so, you know, that's what I'm looking for, so. But I'm just giving God the glory, so. And that's basically what it is. And so, what I was saying was, uh, so that's where I'm at. So, I'm thinking my hiring somebody to come in and clean my bathroom. And if push come to shove, I'll have somebody come and clean my house. I'm, I'm not there, nowhere near there. Um, because I love, I enjoy, I, I, my enjoyment comes from cleaning my house. Oh, to see how you can wipe something down and see that sparkly. My, when I was younger, my enjoyment used to be cutting the grass. I would, I was, I can sit on my porch and watch somebody cut the grass all day. Oh, I think that's, oh, the transformation that it, that, oh, that transformation from seeing the weeds and the high grass and, 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 the, and, and the bushes all out of shape and they, oh, and, and they manicure, oh, wee, that just do something to me right now. But I'm just talking, I'm just talking about nothing. So, but listen, so what do y'all have planned today? And for those of you who are young in your 40s, 30s, 20s, and early and, and early fifties and, and even my age. Take care of the temple that God gave us. Take care of the temple. We have to take care of this temple, praise God. We gotta take care of this temple because there is no reincarnation. You ain't coming back. You ain't coming back. You ain't coming back as a gorilla. You ain't coming back as a, a bird. You ain't coming back as a lizard. You ain't coming back as a butterfly when you die. The Bible says it is appointed once for man to die. Once. Period. You ain't coming back. You're not coming back. So take care of you. Take care of you, ladies. And I was thinking about showing y'all my skin regimen. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I had what people would call cradles in my, in my jaws. My jaws. Because growing up, I had, growing up, when I tell you, I had, to me, I'm not even going to lie, I had the worst case of acne I have. Me, not me. Oh, it was horrible. I wouldn't even, it was so bad that in the morning when I got up, I didn't even want to look in the mirror when I was washing my face. I didn't even want to look at myself. I didn't want to look at myself. I just, I never thought I was less than anybody. Never thought that. Never. I always, I, 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 I never had low self-esteem. But I just didn't, I just, this right here. And that thing, wow. And then one day the, and see, I believe, that's what I say, I, I, I don't care what nobody's saying. I was introduced to cosmetics, to makeup. And, of course, when you first learn how to put on makeup, you, you look like a clown. You look like a ghost. You just, because you still, you trying to find, and I was young. I was maybe, I was maybe 17, if, if that old. But, so I was d dipping and dabbling in makeup, trying to find my, the right tone. I mean, see, I think I started off with, um, what is that stuff called? F Mary, it was Flora Roberts. F I tried Mary Kay. Did not like it. I tried, and Flora Roberts, Flora Roberts. And when Flora Roberts went out of business, well, not, not went out of business, but they stopped selling my my tone, my color, the kind that I needed for my, for my beautiful uh, brown skin, 
when I say beautiful, I'm not meaning like I'm pretty, but we're beautiful people. So, um, when, so they stopped selling, and I knew I had to find something. That's when I think I got introduced to, mm -hmm, let me think, Mac. M-A-C, yeah, Mac. And uh, loved it because my thing was, I'm a sweater. So whatever I had, whatever I was going to use, it had to hold up to me sweating. When I say I sweat, and I didn't mind paying the bucks, I just didn't, I, I need to make sure that when I put this on, if I cry, if I sweat, now, I ain't gonna swim in that crazy like I, you know, like they gonna, you know, but I'm just saying. And guess what? I can sweat right. We used to be in church, and you know how you be shouting and crying and sweating? Makeup didn't move. You know what I mean? Because I'm patting now. I'm like, oh, glory to God. You know, after it was all said and done. Because I know when I'm serving God, I don't care. I don't care. But then I'd be like, do I need to? I would ask my, do I need to go to the bathroom? And he said, oh, no, you're fine. And I'm like, what? Look at God. So I now use. Mac makeup and Max, uh, oh, it's upstairs, but I use um, Clinique, yeah, Cl Clinique foundation, Cl Clinique long wear foundation. Yes, but but if you want, they those are the higher end ones, but if you want to go to the lower end, you can go to Cover Girl. Is cover up or cover girl? But I'll show it to you one day. And that's a good, that's a great product. That's a that, that's a regular drugstore product. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at all oh, CVS's, Walgreens. Way, way, way cheaper. But it does its thing. It does its thing. It's full coverage, y'all. Love it, and it's very buildable. Um, then I had to learn how to do. You know, my little this and my little, you know. And I had to find a makeup that uh, was for, m I'm real, 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 real oily. So I needed something that when I put it on, I can put my press powder on. And then it would like seal the makeup. And then um, I learned how to do my setting spray. So I set everything. And, um... But I just learned about setting spray and all that stuff doing doing YouTube. I didn't. I mean, listen to YouTube people. That's been within the last five, four, five years, something like that. I forgot. But anyway, so yeah. Um, y'all know why I went natural? YouTube. I'm watching YouTube. Yeah. And uh, uh, am I gonna stay natural? I don't know. Because my daughters and I, well, not my daughters, my daughter, one of my daughters, we're thinking about getting a relaxer. And they got some pretty hair. But, yeah, all three of my daughters are natural and myself. And um, I am really thinking about getting a relaxer. But when I look at this, I love this. I really love what God gave me. So, I don't know. I know y'all say, I wish you would get off this screen and go ahead and go to the store. <laughs> and go and go with shopping. But I'm, I just enjoy talking to y'all. Y'all just don't know. I really love this platform that God has given me. God has given me platform my God and I'm so thankful for it I'm so thankful that y'all are enjoying the content the talks the encouragement I'm just thankful I'm just thankful so oh let me show you well if you watch the other video about is church is church hurt real then you would have seen my sign over there in that corner. Let me show you. I'll turn this around. You see my sign? The sign says, we are blessed. 
You see it? Let me show it to you. Hold on. Oh, boy. See that? It says we are blessed. Let me, let me put it over here like this. See? So, anyway. Yep. Oh, let me show you what I do. <laughs> When I'm upstairs and I got some things I got to bring downstairs, let me show y'all what I do. So, let me see, where y'all at? Y'all not going to be up. That's my upstairs right there, right? And this is what I do. I don't have no laundry chute, but I dropped that joker right there. <laughs> y'all don't talk about me here. So, because sometimes it'd be like a lot of clothes and I don't, mm -mm, I ain't doing all that. So anyway, let me show y'all what I got going on back here. Remember I told y'all that I had some pillows. Oh, that's got to go. Why is this back here? Oh, that's have to go in the um garage. So let me get ready to go. Because I'm, I'm procrastinating. That's what I'm doing. I am procrastinating. I had y'all rigged up on top of the vase. See, I on top of that vase. Then I had that vase. See, I'm going to show you how I had y'all rigged up. I'm sitting right here drinking my water. And I got this stand, this vase, and that vase. I had my phone sitting on top of this vase like this. So it could sit up like that. And I had the tissue behind it like that to keep it straight. I be, listen, I be, I be trying, I be trying to talk to y'all, praise the Lord. I be trying to, you know, do you right. Because you know why? That's, and it's so sad. And y'all better not talk about me. Praise the Lord. You know what it is? You know what it is? Uh, my, um, I got tripods. I got several tripods. Tripods. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to bring one down here and put it in that, that closet right there. So that when I want to film down here with the tripod... It'd be already down here. I have several, bro. I just keep them upstairs. Don't fuss at me. <laughs> and don't talk about me. No, I'm just messing with you. I know. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to be more consistent with you guys. But listen, let me go ahead and cut this short. And if I buy anything from these stores, I will be adding it to the back end of this video. So just, so now, what I'm going to say. So now, let me get ready to get out this house. I've been talking to y'all for 30, almost 35 minutes. But it's a good thing, right? But anyway, I love you to life. And if I do buy something, it'll be the next clip. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody. So, I made it back from Tuesday morning, and it was a success. So, what I have said, let me show y'all what I purchased real quick. Okay. So I got these color pillows. They're round. They're the rounded pillows. It's not doing it any justice. Um, the camera's not doing it any justice. And guess what else I have ready? I have my ladder set up over here because I'm going to take these down and put them. Well, when I say it's already looking, just that color, adding that color to it. But I got something to go right here. This is. This was always temporary. And so I got something to go with this that matches the pillows and the curtains. So I'm excited to show y'all the reveal. So I'll be back in the next clip to show you my reveal.